Welcome back to the Gamekeeper's Cottage Diaries. Welcome back to Gamekeeper's Cottage. This week we got something a bit different for you. Based on one of the comments from our recent hedge planting video, we're going to take a look at our plans for the back garden. Before we focus on the back garden, let's start with a general overview of the different areas of the property and where they're all located in relation to each other. Let's start up in the top left of the property with the stables. This comprises of the wooden stable building itself, together with the concrete hard standing in front of it, and two small areas at either side. On the right hand side, laid to concrete, and on the left, a small dirt area that we're not quite sure what we're going to do with yet. Next to the stables, we have the gravel driveway and hard standing that leads from the front gate of the property round past the stables and up to the front of the property where it covers the front of the house. As we look at it from above to the right of the driveway next to the entrance gate you can see the derelict wooden garage that we will eventually replace. Opposite the garage on the other side of the driveway we have the front patio area which sits in front of the house. Between the patio and the back of the stables and the side of the garden shed we have an unused wooded area that we're not quite sure what we're going to do with at the moment. Running down the left hand side of the property as we look at it from above we have the large garden shed and in front of it the side garden that we eventually hope to turn into a patio area covered by a pergola. Moving across to the right hand side of the plot now, we have the orchard that runs along nearly the whole of this area of the property with its mature apple and pear trees. In the bottom right of the property, at the end of the orchard, we have what will eventually become the vegetable area. Currently this area is overgrown with grass and there is an old greenhouse, but we eventually hope to install a set of raised beds and possibly a potting shed for our planting of vegetables. Finally for this overview we have the main back garden that runs all the way from the left hand side across until it joins against the vegetable area. It is this back garden area that will be the focus of the remainder of the video. Firstly I must apologize for the graininess of the image. I don't have a drone at the moment and zooming in as far as you can on Google Maps does give you a rather grainy image. The image itself is about three years old but it is representative of the state of the garden at the end of last year. The back garden is mainly laid to grass with a few mature trees and bushes. Although there are some flower borders running along the edge of the house which I have highlighted on the picture here in brown. At the right hand side of the back garden area closest to what will be the vegetable plot there is another quarter circle patio area on which we have a large patio table. This is west facing so it is wonderful in the afternoons for getting the sun. The one bit of work that we have already done in the back garden, which you will have seen in previous videos, is the creation of the new hedges. I've highlighted those here in green and as you can see they run along two thirds of the back fence and then along the side fence up to level with the house and then along from across from the fence to the wall of the house with the gap that we left in the middle for the future gate. The next thing that we are planning on doing is to fill in the gap on the side wall that you can see where we will be having a seating area. This will be comprised of some patio slabs onto which we will be putting an arbor style covered seat similar to the one that I'm showing in the photo. 
The next major bit of work that we will need to do is to put in some pathways as at the moment there are no garden paths at all. We are planning on running a path from the right hand side of the house near the oil tank, along the back of the house past the porch and on towards the new gap in the hedge. We will then continue another smaller path around the side of the garden by the hedge past the arbor seat and into the back corner and then along the back towards the big tree that is currently in the garden and from there it will run across the garden back to the porch back door. Once we have the pathways in place we will be adding in some more flower borders. The current plan is that we will have a large border on the left hand end of the garden in front of the arbor seating and we will then continue a smaller more narrow border all the way around the inside edge of the pathway that we are adding as you can see here. The area that is left in the centre of the new flower borders will remain as a much smaller lawn area although we will be digging out all of the old current poor quality grass and replacing it with some new turf. The remaining area to the right hand side of the back garden we have not yet given any detailed thought to although we do want it to form part of a wildlife garden. We are therefore hoping to build some sort of wildlife pond if we can fit it in together with a natural wildlife type meadow rather than the current lawns there. But this as I said we have not yet given much consideration to and will probably be a year or two out before we can start looking at that. So that concludes our look at our plans for the back garden here at Gamekeeper's Cottage. Do let us know in the comments if you've done anything similar or if you have any ideas that we perhaps haven't thought of. All that remains is for me to thank you for watching and to ask that if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and join us in the comments below to help the channel grow. Thank you and we'll see you next time.